Hey guys, Mike here again. Packing up a bunch of stuff for eBay tonight and thought I'd make a quick video and probably be uh, really fast here. I went to an auction about, oh, I don't know, sometime uh, a week or two ago and I got a whole lot of really cool stuff. Spent about 1200 bucks and just got, I'm, I'm actually going to try to get it all out in one week up on eBay, but I'm, I often have high expectations and and I'm not really sure if I'll get it all out, but if not one week, I should have it all out in two weeks and, and turn it all around. But uh, I was just sitting here and noticed a couple things here, that, and I thought maybe I'd make a quick video. <clears throat> um, the bigger items here are Cupid dolls. And you see a whole lot of uh, Cupid type things. They're, as you can see, little babies. And... Um, you know, a lot of times you'll see the plastic stuff. It's not really worth anything. I just wanted to share with you guys that if you find the porcelain ones, uh, typically you're going to find these little guys here, like the little baby in the pumpkin and the one on skates. And this is what the box looks like on one of those. And I believe, I can't remember now, I think they were the 90s? Yeah, 90. Let's see if I can get a... There we go. 1993 and what does that say Jezco <clears throat> I'm sure there's a lot of other collectible QP stuff but I've I've seen a, a good amount of it I guess you could say and a lot of it's kinda just doesn't really bring money but the like I said these porcelain ones seem to bring a lot of money I got about ten of these I'm afraid to pan over it looks like a it really does look like a bomb went off in here just trying to get stuff done but you can see back there there's a pile of them and uh, at least one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I probably I got between 10 and 15 of these things for hundred and ten or 120 bucks I can't remember I did the math on them and I'll make close to 500 at least uh, there but I think the lowest one may be worth about 20 bucks and the highest one around 75 or 80 something like that but I I priced them all out and I should make give or take 500 bucks although a couple of them I could not find like this larger one here so who knows maybe I'll I'll hit a real home run on that or I could strike out I just don't know but yeah that's uh, one tip for today keep an eye out for that cupy stuff uh, you know you'll find it pop up here and there if it's porcelain uh, made in the early to mid 90s snatch it up make some good money let's see here the other thing I wanted to point out <clears throat> is Bakelite, and I've heard it pronounced Bakelite, and I've heard it pronounced Bakelite. I have no idea what the right pronunciation is, but these are pretty neat. These are um, Disney pencil sharpeners, and they're in pretty good shape. And then this lighter here, made in Japan, I assume maybe in the 50s. But these, I forget how much, what did I pay? Let me think. I think I got $60 into the lot which was not just this, there's like 15 things, all this little stuff here, advertising, clickers, dexterity game, a little uh, vintage pocket pencil sharpener, uh, porcelain whistle, I think it's garbage, but I'm not sure, yeah, a couple more dexterity games, you know, the mirrors on the back or some advertising, a roly, it's like a miniature roly-poly, I don't know if it's considered the same thing, and some, I think a political button or two, but anyway, um, my point being here, I paid about 65 bucks for the whole lot, I think, and just these, those little pencil sharpeners will bring 30 to $40 a piece, so I'm going to double my money just on those three right there, and then, hey, hey, Russ, I'm making a video, can you hold on? And then, the lighter here, I'm not really sure what I'll get for that, but it's Bakelite, or Bakelite, however you pronounce it, so I know there's money in it. Um, so that's about it. Just a uh, couple quick tips right there. Keep an eye out for the Cupies if they're porcelain and um, vintage 90s, 90s, mid 90s, I guess. And also, you know, honestly, basically anything uh, Bakelite, I've had really good luck with. People just collect the crap out of it, whether it's pencil sharpener, lighter, uh, you know, a hair clip or whatever, or even, or even little figurines. Um, you'll never find, you know, I'm trying to figure out if this was white and green, because I was told at one time that Bakelite was never made in yellow, it was white, but over time it turned yellow, but I'm not sure. But I'm rambling, so I'm going to get rolling here. Tip of the day, Cupies and Bakelite, keep your eye out for them, uh, they can make you some money. Take care, bye.